Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 290. Today we have an eight box inner case of the brand new 2020-21 SP Authentic. Uh, I mean, it's been, you know, pretty much a year wait for this. It's been two over two years since the last SP Authentic came out. So this is one of the like most anticipated products and I am very excited for this. Uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. I mean, Hey, it's Future Watch Autos. You never know what can happen. So three times on the names, three times on the teams. Uh, good luck. Here we go. Names. Three times. There we go. Once. Twice. Third time. And again, good luck to everyone opening it up as well. Uh, especially, I mean, you know, everyone in the break, everyone that's opening up boxes. Uh, the card design looks nice, so I've seen good things about the quality. So this will be my first look at it as well, like in person. So here we go. Three times on teams. Once. Twice. Third time. Again, Minnesota is probably the high roll team that you want, and Dallas is probably the most consistent top team that you want. So those are the teams you're looking for here. Uh, Brandon, you've got Columbus, Paul with the Dallas Stars, Alexander with the New York Islanders, Stan with the Washington Capitals, Jason with the Detroit Red Wings, uh, Riley with the Philadelphia Flyers, Danny with the Lightning. Lightning are a bit of a sleeper team because they have Verhege Future Watch Autos, Kevin with the Coyotes, Justin, you got the Rangers, another good team, Daniel with the Predators, uh, Scott, you've got Vegas, James, you've got the Panthers and the Habs, Clayton with the Canucks, Paul, you've got the Avs, Danny... You've got the Sharks, Clayton with the Hurricanes, uh, Jagandeep, you've got the Jets, Scott with the Penguins, uh, Lawrence with the Bruins, Richard with Chicago, Michael with the Ducks, Dan with the Flames and Wild, uh, Jagandeep, you've got the Senders, good team there, JK, JK, Johnny, you've got the Sabres, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Brandon, you've got the Devils, James with the Kings, Brandon with the Oilers, Mark with the Blues, and Dan with the Leafs. So there are your uh, teams. I'll get them into the team viewer shortly. Yeah, I don't know. Like some some teams just follow around certain people. I I don't get it. Um, who who is this missing? Uh, what team is this? This is. Ooh, it's that. That's why. There we go. All right. uh, sorry, one second. The spreadsheet's just a little, it's a little goofy because I forgot to remove the Kraken. Yeah, this for um, the Yotes is a possibility too. I, okay, I used to always get the Yotes as well to the point where I started, um, an actual like collection of coyote stuff so it was like well they'll just be a second team i guess at this point and i mean hey ekman larson came here so i'll be it oh yeah i used to so like i used to get um the teams i used to get in breaks like uh, were in like team randoms were like Arizona. Um, what was the other the other one that was really frequent? Um, it wasn't Buffalo. It was uh, wasn't Carolina. I get Colorado in their bad years like fairly consistently. Um, so that was kind of funny. Uh, the Islanders were another team. Um, but yeah, those were kind of the teams I ended up with a lot. <laughs> it's, it's funny, like, there's just teams that'll just follow you, so. All right, uh, speaking of teams, team viewer. Oh, I gotta fix the team viewer, one second. Uh, I gotta shift everyone's names down because it is, uh, not a 32 team break. My apologies there, let me switch off of that. Knew something didn't look right.
that it's that's going to happen a few more times over a little bit. Uh, there we go. That's what we want. So that should be correct. Again, if this team viewer is incorrect, it will go back to the default random. So yeah, Nashville's kind of a tougher team. Um, they where is the um. Honestly, like, the Bruins are a team that isn't great in this. Um, Nashville is not the worst team. Like, just being completely honest, they're they're not the worst team. Um, I'd say Anaheim probably takes that, but, like, even then they have some home runs. Uh, I think there is a Solani Winnipeg Jets auto in this. So, like, the Yotes actually have a couple of, like, pretty good chase cards. Um... But yeah, because again, old school Winnipeg Jets goes to the Arizona Coyotes. It follows the franchise. So, um, but yeah, good luck, everyone. Um, in my first look at this, here we go. And I should have shown the top, but again, this is the top. Stain on it. I mean, yeah, it's one of those like your your risk. It's a risk reward with them, right? Like they're, I have them as like a really bad team, but if when you hit with them, you're going to be pretty happy. And I mean, like. As much as Marchand's Marchand, he still sells, at least. So there's that. Yeah, Fairby, the Flyers aren't horrible. Um, they actually aren't horrible. Um, who else is... The Canucks are actually decent. The Islanders seem to have a lot of stuff. Uh, just based off, again, the spreadsheets. I, it's tough to fully estimate this, given there's no real sure print run but there's a um, a jonathan taze card it says like sign of the times update draft parallel it's one in like two hundred and fifty thousand packs uh so like there's probably only two or three of them made unless the print runs are really skewed but i don't think they really went that far just based off of what i've seen for off top frame and stuff like that so here we go Box one, first look. A little bit of like fingerprints in the bottom again. Box number, just in case we have any issues, I will get out of all of those. So here we go. Oh, we got some decoys again. Nice. I was actually kind of running low on them. So if I see a patch, I'm saving it for the end of the box. So here we go. Hey, Paul. Did you uh, get to your case yet? Starting off with the Spectrum effects of John Carlson for the Capitals. Nice teams, man. You you crushed the team random. So here we go. Uh, okay, this is a double hit pack. Uh, Gensel and the retro and Suzuki to hundred on the retro gold. That is the yeah two thousand. 2001. It's slight thicker card stocking. Eh? A little bit of a corner chipping on that too. Like if we're being really, really picky, you can't really see it, but it is there. So I don't know. Anything numbered, I'm probably just going to automatically sleeve and top load because it's SPA. So, and again, um, oh, nice, nice, uh, yeah, nice future watch autos and. Actually, pretty good future watch autos and good. I mean, the Yager sign of the times is pretty wicked. Red of Gallagher for the Habs. Yeah, we'll do a set of team base as well for this break, just because it's really squeak. So it looks like the. Oh, that's just from an inner. That's nuts from an inner. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, laugh on the top performers. I don't know if those are gonna like sell super well. So, yeah, it looks like from what I've seen, the autos are clumped together. 
Yeah, seeing those boxes kind of is rougher, but Cherov on the update or the the retro, sorry, not the update. So no, the um the yeah the acetate young guns seem really hard to pull. Uh, celebrated moments of Renee for the Predators. Celebrated moments of Pavelski for the Stars. I like the base design. It's clean. Patches are generally one per inner, yeah. So Barzell on the retro for the Islanders. Red of uh, Klingberg for the Stars on the Limited. They're generally one per inner, but they're, I mean, they can be rare, so. Again, from what I saw from, like, other breaks, I think we have a, I think we have an auto here. Yeah, Sign of the Times Retro. This is a 2000-2001 design. O'Reilly for the Blues. O'Reilly for the Blues on the Sign of the Times. Those are nice. They feel like the cards feel just slightly thicker. Like, probably, like, not 30 point, but, like, somewhere in between. I'm just going to pull up the checklist, because I always like to look up um, odds. But, yeah, that's the Sign of the Times Retro. Um, that's referencing the 2000-2001 design, I believe. Um, I like it. Retro Sign of the Times, and O'Reilly is a group E. So, second toughest group to hit, like, really, actually really tough to hit. To group E is like one in 1,000 packs, essentially. So, All right, is this an auto? If it is an auto, then uh, they're clumped together again. It... Yep, it is an auto. Well, we'll just rip through it. Uh, Alexia for the Capitals. I Man, the Future Watch autos are clean. I really like the design. Those are clean. Like, no complaints here. Yeah, we will have more breaks over the next little bit. Um, the next one I might even lower the spot limit a little bit more, um, because of how quick this one sold out. So we had a three spot limit on that on this one. I think next one will probably go like two, and we might do a couple. So, uh, spectrum effects. These are actually really sharp this year. Although, uh, there is some corner damage on this. So, as a heads up, Oaklander for the Canucks. So. And these cards, you're kind of, um, you're getting those to try and do the bounty, and really about it. Uh, true leaders of Barkov. So yeah, the other thing to note, note from like previous years, SP Authentic is because we had extended, there are no update young guns in this, um, and there's also like no update base set. So. A little bit different in that way. Uh, Shea Theodore for Vegas. A little bit different, but... Red of Crosby for the Penguins. I mean, hey, if you're going to hit a red, might as well be Sid the Kid. Three autos. Did you get an update? I was wondering if three auto boxes were actually possible. I didn't think they would, unless it's an update. So, Klingberg for the Stars. On the authentic moments. Yeah, like cards have a traditional SP authentic feel. It it feels like SP authentic. There's really no other way to describe it. Canarin for the Rangers. Oh, okay. Wow, that's uh that's pretty good to see then. Burns on the true leaders for the Shorks. When I always I thought this was the year we were going to see a Rasmus Dahlin update because uh, MVP had his like fake auto in, but maybe Upper Deck didn't get his signing rights or whatever. All right. Next up is box eight nine seven nine. Yeah. Like, hey, and again, if you're gonna have like three auto boxes that are weaker auto, like. 
I don't mind that from like, hey, if you get a weaker box, it's going to have three autos. If you get a stronger box, it's going to have two autos. Yeah. So that was, again, that's definitely a weaker box. I, I don't mind that for this product, right? Because it helps at least like soften the blow of those really rough, uh, Let's go this way. Are those really rough? Two auto boxes, but yeah, it looks like the autos will come together. So again, just as a heads up, if you're buying loose packs, gain on the spectrum. Gain on the retro and future watch of Mikolo for the blues. I'm just regular sleeve that. Red of Zabanajad. Uh, Vasilevsky on the top performers. Again, my same complaint with previous years of uh, SP Authentic is that I wish we saw de like just consistent decoys. Gallagher on the retro. Uh, because if you can get a hit in a decoy pack, there's no reason to, like, if you're picking a pack, there's no reason to open up a non-decoy one. Uh, Stutzel on the celebrated moment. Like, if a decoy pack has a chance of being a patch, and, like, the non-decoy packs don't, right? There's, I don't know, just one of the, like, little things that I wish that they'd change. You'll see for the Predators, the true leaders. Strom for Chicago on the retro. I like the retros. They're actually kind of cool. Red of Spetch. It actually feels like this box is very, very similar. Uh, busy here. I'll throw it up. Uh, we had Columbus, Edmonton, and New Jersey. Uh, you have Sharon Govich with the Devils. I mean, Ty Smith, too. But Sharon Govich is honestly probably the higher seller out of the two. Uh, Celebrated moments of Stamkos hoisting the cup. Aho for the Hurricanes. leaders of Ryan Suter for the wild. There's one card in here that I'm not sure which teams it'll go to. It's the Ryan Suter, Gary Suter uh, dual auto. It's labeled as all-star, but that could literally mean anything, right? Like it could be um, breezy for the wild on the authentic moments. Uh, like if it's got the specific all-star team, then I'll try and pull up what all-star team it was for. Um, and if there's no other logos on the back, so stamp goes on the retro. This is uh getting down to the wire here. Two autos to go. Red of Anders Lee for the Islanders. I think we have an auto here. Uh Shea Theodore for Vegas. The sign of the times. We have a box with no autos. Oof. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that kind of sucks. That was a problem uh, last SPA, wasn't it? And well, hey, that's actually a pretty decent one. Peyton Krebs for Vegas. Looks pretty okay. That's that's one of the like mid tier ones. Yeah, Vegas is solid. There, 
Oh yeah, some of the numbering is very different. It honestly like. I wouldn't be shocked if there were like two kind of prints of it given how long it took, but yeah, like there's definitely I noticed like um yeah, like just between the Mikolo, so like you can see it's pretty like just the numbering difference between those, right? So they're both printed in the USA, so they're actually like the card backs are actually like kind of a different color. This one's actually yellowish. So. Yeah, I'm going to guess that they might have had two different companies printing it to try to get it out. I like I feel like something happened to it. Uh, level two future watch spectrum effects of Nolan foot. For the devils. This one is again top right corner so all right here we go 9806 So, I mean, like, hey, that box, I mean, if you have Vegas, the way to look at it is that you literally just got a box worth of autos for uh, less than a box price, right? So, it's kind of funny how it works out like that. Like, it, and I think that's why this is a good great product, per se, because it, you know, you can have that. Uh, Klingberg on the Celebrated Moments again. Stone for Vegas. Yeah, Vegas seems solid. Monahan for the Flames on the red. All right, I think we got our auto. Sign of the times of Shen for the blues. So two teams doubling up already. The blues. Chen's definitely going to be a group F, so I don't need to look that one up. If he's not a group F, I would be very shocked. So here's probably our other auto. Ah, uh, McMichael for the... Every single team has doubled up for the Capitals. We've hit two Vegas, two Blues, two Capitals. Uh, a little bit of note, this like left corner down here is a little bit dinged i would say yeah it's actually pretty you can see it there so just as a heads up like that's gonna like get you on the corners outside of that the card's fine so yeah that's wild like two blues two capitals two knights Focus. There we go. So yeah, that is again the autos being together just, and just be aware when ooh, third auto. Uh Jake Gensel on the retro sign of the times for the penguins. That's a pretty solid box. In terms of like names, three autos with the McMichael Future Watch, Gensel on the Retro Sign of the Times. That's not bad. Spectrum FX of Huberto for the Panthers. Yeah, they had them previous years. Uh, Carter Hart for the Flyers and nice Igor for the Rangers to 100. That's honestly probably a decent card. Uh, same thing as the Suzuki slight white bottom right corner. It's Chesterkin. It's numbered. It will probably sell well. So. Yeah, I like those retro sign of times. I did them in uh, 1920 for sure. Check like for the Jets because we've definitely pulled them a car one before. 
true leaders of believe for the Islanders. The rest of this box is just probably there we go. Filler at this point. Matthews for the Leafs on the retro. Only thing we could get, I guess, is like a acetate young gun or future watch, but Celebrate moments of Pavelski for the stars. Seems like there's one pack that has two cards in it, being a numbered card. Uh, Klingberg for the stars. So it feels like, yeah, like one pack has two cards, one being a numbered card. Um, and note that uh, the autos are together. And yeah, Makar on the retro. I mean, hey, that's probably worth a couple bucks. Kane on the red. Patterson on the top performers. Eric Saul for the Sabres on the retro. O'Reilly for the Blues on the True Leaders. And SP Authentic is just all about if your team hits or not. Because, <laughs> like, if you you could have the best team in the break, but, like, if they don't hit, they don't hit 9755. That's, I get the Wild are, like, a very big hit or miss team in this. Because, like, pretty much all of their inserts are, like, Parisi and Suter, and they don't have much in the way of autos. Um, and it's just like Capri Solver bust. Whereas Dallas, you've at least got like five future lock autos, I think. You've got Andre Harley Smith. Or not Smith. Why did I say Smith? You got Andre Harley, um, Kim Aranta, Bill Andrea, Robertson, and I think an update as well of um, Rhett Gardner. <laughs> yeah, that's one that you're probably happy with. This is a Canucks pack. Uh, Sam goes for the Lightning. So you got three Canuck base in that. Spectrum effects, so pasta. Uh, retro, future watch the 500 of suits, though. So yeah, here we go. Here's our double numbered pack with a or our double hit pack that's a numbered card. Cool suits a little retro though. Oh sorry, those are actually kind of funky. Here, we'll put the numbered cards together. We'll put the autos together. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh Crosby Patch Auto tonight is nuts. Barry for the Oilers on the limited. Corvat on the true leaders for the Canucks. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks on the retro. Uh, celebrated moments of Renee for the Predators. First NHL goal on that one, I believe. Yep. Alex Tuck for Vegas on the retro. Uh, Fiala's fine at that second for the stars you're better off betting on a 25 year old who put up a really strong season and has really good underlying numbers at eight million dollars a year than like a little bit under eight million million dollars a year than you are betting that on like a 30 31 year old so to fully for the kings 
mean, the game's really good. Like, he's a little bit on the inconsistent side, but, um, like, really skilled player, just good puck mover. So, Bergeron for the Bruins. I, again, he's a player I wanted the Canucks to get, and essentially give the money that they were going to give JT Miller to him, and that's what the Wild did. So, Petrangelo for Vegas. Yeah, their prospect pool is wild. Uh, Gretzky on the top performers for the oil. Would be nice if that card was our autograph. Getting down to the end here. Gibson for the Ducks. Bailey for the Islanders. Uh, Olafson for the Sabres on the base auto. A little bit of that weird pen effect bubbling going on there. So, hit all the. Packs in there. The Kings are a good. They're going to be a good team. I mean, Byfield gets an extra year now, so Delandria for the Stars. So there you go. There's your Dallas Star. Hey, two new teams in the mix. Dallas and Buffalo. Last pack. Yeah, the Kings are like they just built up a good prospect pool, and that's really sometimes all you need. And update of Rana for the Capital. Capitals hitting three autos in this break. Not a, who I would have had, but Rana for the Capitals. Like, don't get me wrong, they're not a bad team in this, but, like, they don't have, like, Obi stuff. And Nick Michael's solid, but kind of shocked they got three autos, so. All right, uh, halfway through. Krebs being the most notable future watch auto. McMichael, I mean, I like Krebs more than McMichael, but that's kind of uh pick your pick your poison. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty quiet so far. Like I think Krebs is gonna be Krebs and McMichael are both solid. But like we haven't had anything that's like Insane yet. Get like one of the future the future pot patch auto black of Caprice off. Uh, I'm not multi packing this. What am I doing? As far as for the Leafs. I forget how many like just inserts are in SP Authentic. Not that many people care about them, Pavelski for the stars. But like you just there ends up just being a stack of cards. Aho for the hurricanes. I think this is an auto. Samson off for the Capitals. Uh, who had Washington? Congratulations, Stan. You are now at four autos in uh, five boxes. That is uh, wild. Yeah, the Capitals don't have a ton in this product. Like, this is just insane uh wallstrom on the update future watch auto for the islanders that's a new team there we go celebrate celebrate the little victories nice wallstrom update i actually need to get more top loaders one second
Yeah, the capitals, well, I'm here, like, uh, they have, actually, you know what? No, the capitals actually rank pretty highly in my, um, uh, in my spreadsheet breakdown for, uh, for hits. They're actually, uh, they're actually fifth in percentages. I guess they have so many like low tier guys and like sign of the times and stuff. Would be my guess at least. And I guess they do have a few rookies too, so and updates. That would be that'd be my guess. But yeah, they ranked fifth, so I I just automatically assume that they were lower. I don't know why, but uh what is that Samson off? Probably IS. He's a group E, so a little bit tougher to hit. Yep, pretty wild stuff. There should be uh, Bellario on the Spectrum FX. Uh, that one's got a ding bottom right corner. And like a ding top left corner. The Spectrum FX just, they typically have print issues, so. Uh, not the best if these are only two autos from the box, but I will say that. Klingberg again on the celebrated moments. Zingle for the Hurricanes. One of those odd player selections. Red of Strom. Top performers of Robertson. I don't think Ovi has autos in this, if I remember correctly. Olsen for the Sabres. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Pavelski for the Stars on the... So, like, the Stars are going to have a stack of cards regardless of whether or not you hit an auto. Patterson for the Canucks on the Spectrum. Uh, oops, here's our double hit. Yandel and Brome, numbered 66 of 999. That foiling is just so, it's like printed on. It's not even like stamped on. So. Yeah, Obi hasn't signed for a while. It's uh Sam Coast for the Lightning. I mean Crosby hasn't signed a ton either. But yeah. To Foley on the celebrated moments. I think like he has doesn't he have like the odd card but nothing major? Yandel for the Panthers. Like mainly updates and stuff. And true leaders of McDavid. Well, hey. At least we got a good true leaders. That was, I would say that was our worst box. Uh, our future watch being an update kind of sucks. I wish I wish it was if you got the update you would get um a bonus hit. It is what it is. Here we go. Nine seven two seven. Yeah, we definitely need like this this is feeling a lot like our ultimate um that one ultimate winner where it was just really quiet outside of one hit. I mean, the Krebs is nice. The McMichael's not bad. Like, it's fine, but nothing major. I mean, hey, you've got your one auto with uh, Dallas, so. 
if there are any teams that I expect to get like six autos or five autos in a case, it's like Chicago and Dallas. Chicago has a lot because they have so many stinking rookies. Hope dart for the Kings. Kings okay. Yeah, the bets are okay. The rookies are. Uh, Delandrea. Yeah, we, we hit our De Delandrea. Van Riemsdyk and Di Pietro on the future watch for the Canucks. Not bad. I mean, for the non-autos, one of the better ones. Oh, yeah, dude has signed a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's that guy. Remember, technically, every future watch, like, that's not inscribed is out of 949. First 50 are inscribed. Pat Thredi for Vegas. Giordano for the Flames. God, that's... He's changed two teams. Breezy for the Wild. He's also changed teams. Same as Suter. Uh, Joe Thornton, just take a moment to acknowledge that beard. For the Sharks, right? Yeah, for the Sharks. Sending, I realize it probably didn't show the logo off, but it is a, it is a Sharks card. Sending for the Leafs. He technically was on the lease this year. Yossi for the Predators. Quiet case, though. Quiet case. Huberto on the red. I swear we've got a Huberto red. Celebrated moments of Matthews for the Leafs. Duran on the retro for the Habs. We need something big soon. Jordan Stahl and the true leaders for the Hurricanes. Lafreniere for the Rangers on the drafted celebrated moments. I would really like to hide to the end of the box. Tom Wilson. For the Capitals. Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Okay, if anything. Okay, this is thick. It's not a patch. It is an auto, I think. All right. Uh, chirography? Chirography of uh, Adam Fox for the Rangers. These aren't numbered, but they're really tough to hit. They are really tough to hit. That's a nice. That's actually a nice auto. Where are? Yeah, like so. They're one in one thousand seven hundred and uh twenty eight packs. Fox is a group C, which is one in two thousand six hundred. Other group C's were Dano, Natchez, and Kurashev. Honestly, that checklist like your group A's Stutes, so your group B's are Andre Yamamoto and Tara Vinen, so like not the best checklist. And oh, there's your Alex Ramula for Chicago. Chicago not getting shut out on the autograph front.
Uh, given that these are like pretty rare, we'll stamp them. So. And it's out of box. Like, we arguably hit the best name on that checklist. Actually, I think we did hit the best name on that checklist. It just happens that they're a group C. So. And Kevin Ball on the Spectrum Effects. This one has a soft corner. Yeah, they really are. All right, two boxes to go. Like, don't get me wrong, the box is a nice card. It's a rare card, but I want to see something a little bit more from this inner. 9640. <laughs> yeah, a little bit pickier with the front row from like over the past little bit. Let me know if you like when I'm pickier with it or when I'm a little bit looser with it. Because, like, I know some people just like seeing the cards on stands every once in a while, so. I just like to highlight the really good stuff or the rare stuff, I guess. I could go back to highlighting the rare stuff again, but. Uh, Arizona does. They're just. You, I don't think you have an auto, a future watch auto. Again, the honestly, Arizona, if Bunting was in this, Arizona would have been one of the top teams. Like, they would have been a top 10 team, but he's just not in it, so. That's actually, it's actually pretty funny because it's like they're a team that if they had, you know, their good rookie in, Yossi for the Predators. They would have been a lot uh, more sought after, right? So Dubois, he's in trade requests for the Jets. Or, well, trade rumors. Besser on the red. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's why we throw in those overtime packs, right? So. One, two, three, four, five. Ovechkin on the celebrated moments. That was an extra card. I'm not missing, like, any weird variation. Nope. Darlene on the retro. Yeah, very quiet though. Very quiet. We're due for something. Suitor for the wild. A patch. Maybe not. Oh, it's probably a celebrated moment. Yep, Barham for the Avs. He was good in the playoffs, man. Like, team space, like, pretty much 67% of their even strength time against them. Uh, Malkin. For the penguins against Byram or McCarr. Like and when they were on the ice they were controlling like 65% of like the scoring chances and stuff. It's just nuts. Hellbuck for the Jets. One of the most dominant playoff runs while two defenders ever. Okay, we've gotta have a big hit coming. I think we have an update auto here. Well, that's that's pretty solid for the Edmonton Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl on the base update auto from uh 20 in 1920. That's pretty solid. Who had Edmonton? I know I know it's gonna be a short group, so Brandon? Yeah. Well, we'll put that in the middle. That's definitely the best hit so far. Like, by far the best hit. How tough is that to hit? I would say it's probably like, um, given he's like a group A in pretty much everything, uh, he's a group C in that, which is. 2,851, so like pretty rare pull. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Now a good future watch right behind it. No, Belzeal for the Habs. I mean, hey, it's a different team, so.
At this point, it's let's get some different teams in here because Washington, you kind of cleaned up a little bit. Uh, Joseph for the Penguins. Oh, yeah, this is like, this is, if you were to make a meme case of this, this would be the meme case. So no patch or patch, probably in the last box. I guess you're probably not guaranteed one. Stamp goes for the Lightning. But, like, they used to be one per box, so, or one per case. Ice can in. Did we get our numbered card yet? I don't think we did. Limited of Pareko for the Blues. Unless I'm just forgetting it. But. Uh, Ovechkin on the leaders for the Capitals. I'll have to go back through the base quickly. Once we get in the next couple. Oh, the foils rubbed off you too. Quick tar for the Kings. And point for the bolts. Did we get a numbered card? I don't think so, because we should be at four or five. I guess we had one case that didn't have one, right? Four or five. So that would be, I guess we've had a couple that didn't have one, but. I guess going, looking at the back isn't going to help too much. Actually, no, it'll be a short print, so. We'd notice. This is just all base. I don't think we got the numbered parallel there. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, dry sidle. No, that was that was the two auto box. That was dry sidle and Belzeal. It is a Leon dry sidle. Nice pull there. I mean, it's in the lead for hit of the break with one box to go. It's probably likely to stay there. Nine six four five. I mean, I still think we have one really good card left. Like, it's picked up a little bit, but... But not enough. Yeah, it's an update from last year, but, I mean, no complaints, right? The auto of a top five player in the NHL. show. You can't complain about that. <laughs> a Fabro inscribed auto. Okay, let's try for that. Well, that's a out of place auto. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card and a decoy pack. But a Jason Robertson Retro Future Watch Auto to $3.99 for the Dallas Stars. So there we go. A little bit of edge chipping. but This is a throwback design because this was the first ever year that I opened up SP Authentic. So like resonates a little bit more with me there. Also, yeah, so like definitely some edge shipping. Like it ain't clean. But it's it's a J Rob Future Watch. So like you know. Um I'm putting it I'm putting it there. Alright. Kachuk on the Spectrum FX. That was a weird pack. Yeah, I mean, yeah, again, any like anytime you go full color stock to the edge point for the lightning. It's gonna be rougher, but hey, we hit our we hit a big card, a couple big ones. That's all we wanted, right? Kemper for the Yotes. So start off really quiet, but then nothing or like really loud. Uh, McDavid for the Oilers. 
I wonder where our autos are gonna be then. Cause like that was not with our other autos. Point or no, sorry, not point Kachuk. There's point. I did not even see that, and I just instinctively said point. Uh Hughes on the all-star game. Celebrated moments. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Tavares for the Leafs. The last box had two autos, though. So, like, you know. Tavares for the Leafs. Probably a red. O'Reilly for the Blues. I will say that, like, second pack down in the middle consistently seems to be a limited red. Celebrated moments of Mick David. Half of the box left to go. We still technically have one guaranteed auto left. Ovechkin for the Capitals. I think we don't. It's just a. Uh... Uh, top performers. This looks like the back of this card. Honestly, it looks like it's the start of the redemption. But hold for the blues. And we have something here. Celebrate moment of uh, Capri Loft for the wild. We'll put that in the uh, just leave it because it's Capri Loft. Probably won't be more than like a couple dollar card in a little bit, but you never know with SP Authentic. Larkin on the retro. This year for the Devils. Uh, I'm guessing that's where the auto was supposed to be. So then this is probably an auto. Out for the Avs. Well, Paul, you got the last box to yourself, so. And Coat's not bad. Coat's not bad. So that's definitely where the auto was supposed to be because it was short cards. And finishing off with a Spectrum FX of Alexa for why not end on a Capitals hit? Uh, it's it's not guaranteed that every case has a patch. It is not a guarantee. Um, it's generally played out like that, but uh, I don't think they've guaranteed it. And yeah, let me double check, but I don't think it's a, I don't think it's one per case, like statistic, like, it probably equals around that, but like you're gonna get some without and some with two type of thing. Um, that was a weird case. Yeah, it, it was a weird case. The the second inner should be yeah, it should be really good. So that'll go up next week. Um, yeah, recap time. Uh, I mean we'll just go over like our numbered cards. We got a DiPietro feature watch. Um, worth pointing out actually that this has different numbering than the Brome. So the memory is just different, which is kind of weird. Uh, I believe it'll be from the same master. I actually didn't pick up the full master, so I picked up the uh, inner. It should be from the, um, it should be all the same that's in inventory though. So it should be the same second. Uh, Suzuki and Chesterkin and Stutza on the Retro Future Watch. So some like nice non-numbered or nice numbered non-auto stuff. Um, auto Samsonov, I mean, the Capitals cleaned up Sign of the Times, uh, Sign of the Times update of Verena, awesome for the Sabres on the base auto from yeah, this year, O'Reilly on the Sign of the Times for the Blues, Gensel for the Penguins on the retro Sign of the Times, Shen on the Sign of the Times for the Blues, and Theodore for Vegas, uh, Future Watch autos, Kout, Krebs is a good one, Belzeal, Regula, Wallstrom, 
Delandrea, Alexiev, and McMichael. The McMichael does have a bit of a dinged corner there. And top hits of the break, uh, third best hit. Probably the hardest card for us to pull is the uh, Tirography of Fox. Second best card of the break. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Leon Update Auto for the Oilers. And we're going to go with the J-Rob on the uh, Retro Future Watch Auto for the hit of the break. So the Dry Settle might sell for more, but the J-Rob's just a little bit cooler because it's a rookie year. And yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, that is 290, 289 up next.